Hi, this is Chris Butler, and I wrote Christmas Wrapping by The Waitresses. This is my guide to the do's and don'ts of writing a really killer Christmas song. I think it's a good idea to avoid Jesus in general. Reason. You might come up with something that endures. God rest ye merry gentlemen. It came upon a midnight clear silent night. Great stuff, great stuff. All sung in churches. Churches do not pay performance royalties. Pop radio pays performance royalties. If you sing about Jesus, probably not a good idea. Bells and chimes, really good. Sleigh bells, good. Trumpets, best. Put a trumpet in, gotta have a trumpet. Don't put a date in the song, bad idea. I put most of 81 passed along those lines, which should have read most of this year ran along those lines. I didn't expect the song to last. Um, I didn't even expect it to do much during the uh, coming holiday season after we recorded it in August of 1981. Bad idea to put a date in there, just be general. It's a good idea to, to build in some sort of redemption for your character. In the true Dickensian fashion, it, it's a good idea to start with somebody really awful despicable, grumpy, and then move them gradually towards some kind of reconciliation with the holiday, you know, fun, saving, it's a wonderful life. My God, I did make a difference. Wow, we did hook up over cranberry compote, which they don't even eat in England, I don't think, with turkey. But um, anyway, somehow, some way, um, try and move a character from absolute shit to um, someone um, who is absolutely lovable and huggable and gets the holiday spirit. And if you want to write a really, really good Christmas song, you should be the Pogues. <laughs>